Well, this is the last part of lecture 8 that introduces branch if equal in instruction. In context of microarchitecture of single cycle processor and before watching this video please have a look on the early video so that you can already have some knowledge about load word instruction stored word instruction or some other register type instruction that helps you to understand this content very easily and precisely well let's have a look in branch equal we already started this content while we are studying in MIPS assembly language in class 3 and class 4. So here we will discuss in context of microarchitecture. Well, so basically branch of equal compares to register. If they are equal, it takes the branch by adding branch offset to the program counter. So it's jump to the program counter. Typically, it program counter incremented by four after every instruction. But once the branch in equal instruction compare and find it equal to register, it jumps and it follow the offset on the program counter. Well, the offset is a positive or a negative number. That means if your program is here, it could be jump either upside or the downside based on the value of positive and negative. If the value is positive, it's going down. If the value is negative, it's even going up to the current program counter. So how can we calculate this? So the immediate value of the instruction, the last 16 bit of the instruction are standard that called sign extended and multiplied by 4 to get the program counter value. That means the equation is looks like that. The new program counter is the existing program counter plus 4 with the summing sum sign extended immediate times 4. Well, what next? So how we can calculate the next visit? The next program counter value is taken the branch while what we can do next program counter branch is computed by shifting sign immediate left by 2 bit that means the multiplied by 4 then adding pc plus 4 to get the next program counter okay so now we know how we can calculate the next program counter but when we do this right as i said earlier when the two register are equal but how do you get this compare hardware so as all of you know we have the arithmetic logic unit in our data path that can perform the subtraction operation so it basically performs the source a minus source b using the arithmetic logic unit and if the result is zero so the indicator zero flag then turns one, the register are equal. Here we also add a multiplier before the program counter because that part supposed to be used for the branch and as well as the other instruction. So the branch is one for the branch if equal instruction and zero for the other instruction. So this particular multiplexer will control whether it's a branch instruction or not. So this is the theory. Now let's have a look, practical look. And later on, we will also examine an uh, example. Well, this is a program for your textbook, from your textbook. And the, the leftmost line is the address. And these are MIPS code. So when we are here, that means your program counter here, you encounter a instruction that says branch if equal t0, 0, 0, else. That means if the content of the register t0 is 0, because uh, register 0 is always 0, need to move the else here. 
So that means 1, 2, 3. After 3, it jumped from A4 to B4 else here. Right? And this is the instruction. So as it is 3, so the machine code is like a decimal and the binary machine code is here. So we have the immediate value 3. So in the instruction, we have only this value. Now I will show you by using this 3 how we can calculate the B4. Well, so our current program counter are, uh, is now in A4. Typically, we need to find out the next program counter after encounter the else instruction. That means we need to find out the B4 address in a program counter. Well, so typically if the program counter is added by 4 and now we have the immediate part is 3, we need to extend its sign depend on the value. So here is positive. So the extended part will be 0. If it is minus 3, then it will be 1. And if it is complement number, that means the first digit is 1 means it's negative. And then if you add this, you will get the next program counter B4. So you extend the sign and shift it by 2 bit that's been multiplied by 4 and then add to get the next program counter. Well this is the this is the way that we calculate the next program counter with this example but we need to develop the hardware and that hardware must be imposed to our microarchitecture. Now let's have a look with the hardware. So we have the data path here and as you know we already have the sign extended part here. So what we have to do we have to multiply by 4 that means this logic just shifted 2 bit that means multiplied by 4 and here the program counter is added with the 4 and comes here. These two are added. So the sign extended part are shifted and then added with the program counter plus 4 and these are the, this go to the next program counter. But problem is here, you cannot fix your data path in this way. Well, this is the, this is the way that the 4 is come here and this, this is the value here and this is the program counter. So, in early case, the program counter received the value from program counters plus 4 here always. So, you cannot fix it and you cannot also fix the value from here. So, what we can do, we can impose this multiplexer with a controller and this controller decide whether it's a branch or whether it's a, not a branch, other instruction. Well, if it is a branch, then this the program counter are calculated from the extended sign value multiplied by 2 and then add with the extend car running program counter and go to here. So, if it is 1, then the value is here. If the branch controller is set to 0, that means it's other instruction. So, the program counter is added 4 and come here to go execute the next instruction. That's pretty simple. Now let's talk about the other control flag. While we are executing the branch instruction one, so during studying the register type and memory type instruction, we, we have some other control. So let's have a look with the controls. So of course the ALU controls is set to 110, that means it's subtraction it perform the subtract op operation because we need the compare to register whether it's equal or not. So the ALU source is zero because we need source B to the ALU input. So both register we need to be as input of ALU, right? Okay. And the register write and memory write are zero. Why? Because the branch instruction does not write the register file in the memory. And we don't need to care about the values of register destination and the memory to register because the register file is not written here. And 
here in the below part so we will get the data path final data path for branch instruction so if it is branched then the program counter is calculated here and if otherwise the program counter is posted here well now this is the time to discuss with an example like other instruction i will conclude this part with a real example so this example says branch if equal t0 zero, 0 else the same so this is the this is the corresponding binary 32 bit mips instruction for this the first thing is here i put 3 and the content of the t0 register if equal to 0 so one the t0 register uh, this is the address address of um, temporary register 0 and this is the address of 0 register that means it's always 0 so and this is the opcode for the branch instruction so once this opcode encounter it compare these two register whether it's equal or not if it is equal the program counter is changed based on the extended value multiplied by 4 with the according to the equation and the next program counter is changed otherwise the next program counter is changed by just incremented by 4 for the other instruction well so come here so this is this is the instruction decimal part and then these are, are the binary part so what I want to say here, the two register are compared by computing source A minus source B. So we have two register here. The one is one register is zero and another is T0. So T0 and zero is come here, the value is compared here. So listen, if T0 is zero, then the zero flag raised to one if the result is 0 so this flag is raised to 1 that means it's a branch instruction otherwise it's a normal other instruction so the first thing is we can compare it and we can we found that for example we found that both are 0 well so branch in a signal is 1 l is 0 so we need to change the program counter by this equation right so the branch as it is 1 and the branch in instruction is always set to 1 and then for the branch the branch controller is set to 1 and if it is 0 is uh, the result is 0 that means the 0 flag is set to 1 then the one is come here to the selector that means this line the extended pc is calculated the new pc is calculated by the pc plus 4 sign immediate times for this way and if the result is not zero then this flag is zero so the zero come here and the program counter takes the value from here this is the data path well the last but not least having an example with the value well so let's have a look in and the the program counter is a4 and the t0 is 0 so once the t0 is 0 so the program counter is here okay for a4 is here and then the, yeah you come come here immediate is set to 3 after sign extended so 1 1 is 3 so 3 is come here and after sign extended we got this right and once we shifted it to bit we will get the value c here well and this program counter is added by 4 and comes here so we got this here now we have to check what will be the program counter it will be this value or simply this value well that should be decided by this selector right so now i show the selector is one because 
the branch instruction is set to 1 and the result is 0 means this 0 flag is set to 1. So here we will get the selector 1. That means the next program counter is set to B4. That means branch equal and B4. What else if there is no not equal? Okay. Say for example, temporary register 0 is uh, now the value of temporary register 1. So again, the the zero is here. The here we got the zero source B and source one we got one. So the result is one minus zero is one. So the zero flag is set to zero. You come here, the value is zero. That means the next program counter is just added by four. The here, this value, not the extended value. This is the way that the pro branch if equal calculate the next program counter value and this completes the design uh, of the single cycle MIPS processor data path and this is the end of uh, lecture 8 I think you guys enjoy this content and uh, like as usual you can send your caution to Moodle if you don't understand anything and try to solve the class work and respond the attendance sheet. Thank you very much. See you on the next class.